Like, I've got, like, this dent in my forehead right now that I'm not happy with. I'd probably get filler here. But, yeah. I mean, I live in Hollywood. It's, like, everybody gets plastic surgery. Like, everybody. Well, that's what I mean, like, it it was a year ago, and I only had, like, a very little bit, so it didn't, it was a very subtle difference. I mean, it was expensive, but, I don't know, I don't want to be like these other girlies out there that have these, like, these weird lumps going on they have to like dissolve their filler and all this stuff and it's like yeah I'm good I want the very natural route I'm trying to attract black guys okay Oh, thank you. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't feel like I need surgery either. I just like to preserve what I have. If that makes sense? Because I don't think... I just think that, yes, I naturally look younger than I am. But at the same time, like, that's not going to be like that forever. So what a lot of me and other girlies are doing at my age is, like, we're doing, like, preventive you know, measures with plastic surgery. So it's not so much, like, trying to look younger. It's more, like, just trying to, like, maintain where we're at. So it's just, per like, preserving, like, you know, it's like, it's like getting a facial, you know, or, like, getting, like, a skin treatment. It's the same thing. You're pretty much, like, you're taking care of your skin and you're preserving yourself and I'm a former smoker so it's just like like I used to smoke cigarettes so it's like I have a lot of um catching up to do here I mean the first step was quitting but Cheetos or cheese balls? How about both? Yeah, I used to smoke cigarettes when I was in high school. I was bad. I was bad. I was very naughty. Yeah, I drink a lot of water. You're right. <sighs> I don't know what my pH balance is. Am I supposed to know? I went to Catholic school. Cigarettes were the cool thing to do. <clears throat> I started smoking weed when I was like 12. I, I actually smoked weed before I smoked cigarettes. So there's that. 
Abby from Arkansas. <laughs> Send a sample and I'll check for you. Okay. I'm pretty sure I could figure that out on my own, but thank you. I appreciate it, Trey. What, what sample would you need? Like, how would I har harvest this sample? Do I want to know? Is my nose clean? Looks pretty clean. No boogers. Thanks for the wide-eyed weenie. Wide-eyed worsty, whatever. I was naughty. Don't tell my mommy. Ooh, my eyes look pretty. They're very brown, but like you can kind of see the, like, but the lighting is perfect. So you can actually see my pupil, kind of. It's very hard to see, but you can kind of see. No, you can't really see it. Reality seeking. You're relating smoking weed with having a big body count. Do you realize that I went to like an all girls high school? Like, I didn't lose my virginity until I was in my 20s. So, that's weird. Like, my early 20s, I mean, like. So eight years after I smoked weed, then I had sex. I was kind of a bad kid, but not in the sexual way. How did I smoke so early then? Because I was best friends with a girl who also lived in the ghetto with me. And we had access to these things. We, you know, talk, we would chat with guys on AOL chat rooms, pretending we were older. And we'd get weed from them. And nothing happened. Or we'd steal it from, like, her mom. Like, 